Last week I showed you how to create computer marked quizzes or tests in Blackboard Learn. I'm going to extend on that again a bit today by showing you a technique called adaptive release where you can use the results of, for instance, a quiz to control a student's progression through their learning materials. Let, you show, let me show you what I mean. So I'm in a Blackboard Learn unit. I've created a quiz using the same techniques as for um, quick tip number 34. So you might choose to revise that. So this is a quiz I've created. It has some instructions. I've deliberately chosen in this instance to place it onto the home page and then it'll become apparent why as we progress through. So I have my quiz in place, but what I want to do is to say that, that students don't get access to their learning materials or to their assessment until they've satisfactorily completed the quiz. And the technique is referred to as adaptive release. So let me show you what I mean. If, on the learning materials, if I go down to adaptive release, there are a number of conditions I can set. I could set based upon time, their membership of a group, and I'll expand on that later, or in this example, their completion of a quiz, the quiz called intro quiz. And then I can say, well, what is the minimum cutoff mark that I require for that? It could be, for instance, greater or equal than 50%. And I hit submit. So that was simple. What has happened now, if I return to the learning materials folder, and notice that it has the words enabled adaptive release under it. So that seems positive. I'm going to do the same now quickly for the assessments folder as well, using exactly the same technique, saying that they've got to have achieved, let's say, 50%. Just make sure that you've got the right criteria here, greater or equal to, and hit submit. So far, so good, although it's not obvious to the teacher what has happened. So we really now need to experience this as our students do to see what the actual impact will be for them. So let me just take you into under the unit tools menu and into student view. Now what you'll notice for students is they can't even see the fact that there is a learning materials or assessment folder there. It's invisible to the student until they've met those adaptive release criteria. So let me do that now as a student. I go into the intro quiz and I begin the quiz. This is a quiz that I showed you how to create last week so you can refer back to that. I'm going to go through and complete the answers. and ensure that I get at least half of them right, such that I meet the criteria for release. Okay, so I've completed the quiz as a student would do. I'm given a score for that quiz, that's great. And now you'll notice that as I return to the home page, both the learning materials and the assessments folder are available so the student can now effectively commence their study. Now what we've done there is a couple of things. First of all, we've got an engagement point of our students because they've had to engage, so we've got a record of that and that um, will help us in our uh, record keeping management. We've also got the first assessment, particularly if you align that quiz to elements within the particular unit of competence that you're delivering. So it's a really good tool both to engage the students and get your first piece of assessment evidence. So with that in mind, let's think about other strategies for adaptive release. And I'll just expand on a few of them, at least pictorially. Oops, I'll go back one. So you can do what is referred to as hurdle-based learning. So for instance, you might have your unit broken up into topic one, topic two, topic three. A student reads and completes topic one. They do topic one quiz, and only when they do that satisfactorily does it release topic two and so it goes through. So you, you're controlling their progression through the learning. You could have branching um, uh, activities. So for instance, you might have two groups of students and you want to provide them with different assessments, different content, etc. You could divide those students into groups and so some materials to group one exclusively and other materials to group two. All of these things are controllable through adaptive release. If you're uncertain by that, don't be concerned. Have a chat with myself or your friendly e-learning leader. Um, but the technique is a really powerful one because we get to not only provide materials to our students but to in some way control and manage the progression through that content. So I hope that's a useful technique for you.